to walk away at 29 and 0. What else can you say? And here's a tweet from Conor McGregor. Good performance, Khabib. I will carry on. Respect and condolences on your father again. Also to you and family. Yours sincerely, the McGregors. It's just those moments like that, right, where you see a different side to Conor. These guys are mortal enemies. But Conor writes that tweet, and it goes out to millions of people, and you tip your hat to him because it's only respect. Because how else could you not respect the guy that has done what Habib has done? Obviously, you know, even in the times with my father, uh, with Jones, when it comes to family and right, loss, right. all the stuff no doubt. is out of the window. You know, it does not matter how much we despise each other inside of the octagon. When it comes to loss and family, it's all out the window. And you see that now uh, with Connor and uh, with all the other rivalries in the past. So if you bought the pay-per-view and you did see the post-fight interview with Khabib Nurmagomedov, you know that his mother did not want him to make the walk here tonight without his father still around. But he felt like this was a chapter that he needed to close. He closes it with about as many style points as you could possibly want to have. But you're his teammate. I feel like maybe you wanted to see one more, but doesn't some part of you feel happy that he's walking away 29-0 down? Yeah, I'm very happy for him. You know, I'm just happy that the zero is still on the yes. right side of the record. That, You know, you've, I've never seen anything like it. You know, a lot of us get to certain numbers and we're undefeated and you think, wow, I'm unbeatable. And then someone beats you. But this guy never got beat, Right. This guy, and he got more dominant as he went on. There was a time in his career where Habib was hurt all the time, and nobody had any belief in him. And he kept himself relevant at times. But when he got in there, he was dominant. And they said he couldn't finish. He was a decision machine. But when you look at the record, there are so many finishes. And guess what? The finishes have gone up as he's gotten longer. I mean, the fact that he's going away is sad for the sport. Because he's a guy that transcend, he transcends this thing, right? He's just not an MMA fighter anymore. He's a, a, a celebrity, a worldwide phenom that people want to see for years to come. And unfortunately, like John said at the desk, he goes, we always say, take advantage and appreciate these guys while they're here. Because at some point they're going to be gone and then you're left wanting more. Right. And, I mean, I think him leaving us wanting more is the best way. Yeah, and as I'm a fan first, and, of course, I want to see Habib fight more. But you know what this turns into when a guy is so dominant? Look, the promotion is not out to get anybody, but it turns right. into, like, the more the more dominant you are, the more they're going to try to get you beat and stick you in there with the greatest challengers they can possibly find. And I'm confident that he could beat any man that they put in front of him. That guy could beat any person on God's green earth that walks on two feet. I truly believe that. But it's good to see him go out on top. I mean, it, you can't really tell the guy that there, there, there's no reason for him not to go. If, if, if this is something he has conversed with his family, he's a man of his word, he's an honorable guy, it's time for him to go. And it, I'm just honored to be a part of, his, of this last chapter of his career. It was a lot of fun. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.